Good morning, friends. It's Reverend Ben, and we have survived another hurricane. I hope you are all right where you are. I know there's some flooding in downtown Gulfport, and so uh, blessings and love to all of our Gulfport members. Um, some of you probably got phone calls or messages because a bunch of us are trying to contact every member. Now, if you're getting those calls, uh, please respond so that we know you're okay. And if you want help making those calls and those contacts, uh, let me know or let Rebecca know. Um, so anyway, here's your weekly video. Um, obviously, we're having some trouble out in the back, but um, otherwise the, the, the campus of the church is pretty unscathed. I haven't found any broken windows yet. There's no water inside. And we just got some little branches down. We could use some help fixing these, though. Uh, we still are running a, and by we, I mean you use helping people, is still running a Friday night sunset supper. So if you want to come help um, somehow fix this, uh, that help would be appreciated. But on uh, Sunday, we are going to uh, have our book discussion group. It's uh, the book that they're reading now is Citizens, Why the Key to Facing Everything is All of Us. Some of you might have seen uh, Cynthia hold the book up in the middle of worship service last week. Uh, it's an exciting book club. Those of you who have never attended, it starts at 9 a.m. and you contact Cynthia or Kelly if you want to be on that email. Um, Time for All Ages is also starting back up this Sunday. Um, Aaron Powers is going to lead the first time for all ages. The worship associate will be Gordia. And we're starting off a September theme called the Gift of Welcome. Our worship service this Sunday is called um, Your Call is Important to Us. Uh, performative Welcome versus Genuine Connection. Please also bring, speaking of you use helping people, please bring um, some food donations. Um, they could use some peanut butter and jelly. They could use 16 ounce hot and cold paper cups, some paper napkins, sandwich size um, uh, Ziploc bags. And if you can bring some of those single size fruit cups, um, that would be wonderful too. Also, they need some Brillo pads, the metal Brillo pads for cleaning pots and pans. Um, thanks from Sabina and Jerry, and as they put it, the peanut gallery. Now, next week, September 10th, is going to be the first new member class uh, for the new member class. The second one won't be till October 1st, um, but if you're interested in maybe becoming a new member or finding out more about the class, uh, talk to me or talk to Cheyenne. And then the hospitality team could use a couple of volunteers. You just have to come for like an hour to help with cleanup. Um, it's lovely, and many of you have done this already. So please see any of the hospitality team. That's Lucinda, Dana, or Richard, if you're willing to help with that. A lot of you have emailed me and contacted me with regards to the minister search. I appreciate your kind thoughts, and there's some misconceptions that I want to um, um, clear up a little. Some of you asked me, do I want this job? And the answer is yes, I do. I would like to be your settled minister. Um, there's also a couple of you wrote saying, hey, I didn't know you had to leave after three months if the vote uh, is less than 90%. That's actually not true. I do not have to leave. That is not part of you, St. Pete's bylaws. Um, so I, even if the vote uh, does not go my way, I will be serving out my third year contract until next July. I do not have to leave in three months. I wish you all blessings, and I hope to see you Sunday. Take care.